New Zealand is considering officially changing its name to Aotearoa, the Te Reo Māori or Māori language word for the country. A petition to change the name started by the Māori party has amassed 70,000 signatures and has just been submitted to their parliament for consideration. Basically, many feel that Aotearoa, which is more correctly pronounced, Aotearoa. better represents the country's history and would be an important move away from celebrating violent colonialism. Which brings up an interesting question about the history of the country's current name, because what even is Old Zealand? So it's important to understand that for historical colonial explorers, naming newly discovered lands new insert random European town name here, was an important tool for staking their Western claim and erasing indigenous histories. In the case of Aotearoa, it seems that a Dutch cartographer was the first to name it New Zealand, after the coastal Zeeland province in the Netherlands, which looks uh, nothing like New Zealand, by the way, and after that, the Dutch had very little to do with the country for the rest of time. Then when old Captain Cook rocked up in 1769, he anglicised the name to New Zealand. So a bit random to begin with. Now, this isn't to say that everyone is keen on the name Aotearoa, a large southern iwi is concerned that the name only really represents the northern island. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern regularly uses Aotearoa but is a bit meh on an official name change and unsurprisingly a number of conservative politicians aren't keen on it at all and likely will block the legislation if it ever makes it to a vote in parliament. But whether this particular petition is successful or not it's clear that this debate isn't going away anytime soon.